In this video, we are going to look at GoToResolve's Asset Management Tool. To get started, select the Inventory icon on the left side of the navigation menu. Here you will see all the assets in your inventory at present. Start by clicking on the down arrow next to Add a New Item to expand the menu. Select if you want to add a new item, import in bulk from a template, or import from your managed device list. If you decide you want to add an item manually, click on Add a New Item. You can start by filling out basic information about this asset, such as the item name, serial number, and device type. You can also add details about location and place, such as the specific location of a device in an office, like front desk. Moving to item detail, you can continue to enrich the asset profile with details like manufacturer, model, model number, and much more. Simply fill out the desired fields or select from the drop-down menu to select a preset category or to create a new custom category. Moving down the list, you also have the option to add a custom label. You can add purchase information such as setting a warranty period. Setting a life cycle period and or warranty period will automatically set a reminder, which will be visible in your inventory list. On top of custom categories and labels, you can also create custom fields. Click on the custom field icon, give it a name, and add that custom field. And finally here you can assign an item to a user. Once ready, you can save or save and duplicate to get the manual form again but pre-filled with all of the information. You'll now see your newly added device in your asset inventory list. It is always possible to go back and review or edit the device information, like adding attachments or viewing the activity log. If you already have managed devices set in Resolve, remember that you can click on Add a New Item, and by clicking on Sync Managed Devices, you can start importing your Resolve devices. Device detail information will be automatically pulled in, including serial number, IP and MAC addresses, host name, and more. After the sync is completed, your managed devices and all relevant device information to asset management will be pulled in. You should see all the new assets added to your asset inventory list. The last option is to import devices in bulk from a template. To do that, make sure to follow the three-step process on the screen. Download and fill out the template and upload back to Resolve when ready to import. Going back to the Inventory Asset list, you'll see that your assets are organized in separate columns. You can further customize the table by clicking on the three dots and selecting Customize Table. From there, you can select different attributes like item name, type, assigned user, and more according to your preferences. By selecting one or multiple devices, you can use the Quick Actions menu to make quick changes across one or multiple assets, like changing the item type, cloning an item, adding a label, or assigning an item to a user. It's always possible to add and remove or change an assigned user by selecting a device and clicking on Assign User, or by clicking into a device and going to the Assignment Details section. To easily sort, filter, and search, use the top bars above the Asset Inventory list to navigate through your list with ease and find what you're looking for. Lastly, once your inventory asset list is ready to be exported, click on the three dots to export a custom view or the whole database. Try it out today. For more information, visit support.goto.com forward slash resolve.